Hello, how are y'all doing? I am Professor Chastity Clemens. I am a business professor here at Central Texas College, and I'm so excited that you've decided to join us for the CTC Live. Today, we're gonna cover a few things. We're gonna talk about our business internships. I'm gonna also cover net impact and find out which internship is right for you. So without further ado, kind of give you a little bit more about myself. So I grew up in business. I uh, grew up with five, my family owning five businesses. So business is in my blood. But not only that, but we all as business professors have the education to teach the courses. But what's really neat about our department is that each professor has experience in the real world. So we don't just teach you the academia side, we give you the real life failures as well as successes. So I also ran a tuition-based school for eight years. So I was able to gain that managerial experience. And then from there, I've owned two online e-commerce businesses. You know, with COVID, this has become very popular is moving towards online, especially with retail and even services. Um, on top of that, I have also helped start 69 small businesses. About three fourths of those businesses are still in business today and generating a profit. I, two of them have actually franchised, so it's really exciting. I love business. So I wanna get started without further ado. I'm gonna share with you a PowerPoint. And one of the things I'll tell you that in, in business is we always start our meetings off with an agenda. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me get this open for you. Okay, so. We're gonna go over the business department internships, and then I'm gonna talk about net impact. And you don't have to be a business student to be part of net impact. And I'll go more into detail as we get to that uh, subject. Then I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a department, business department website tour, so you can become familiar with our website um, and know exactly where to find uh, either your instructor, your syllabi, which degree plan you're on, and then we're just gonna do a really brief recap on the type of class formats that we have. Because of COVID, we've changed from just doing lecture on campus to now more synchronized, and I'll cover a little bit more about that. Then I'm gonna open the floor for you guys to be able to ask any questions. Um, during this presentation, feel free at any time to write a question, and if I catch it, I definitely will answer it, but uh, guarantee at the end, I will make sure that everybody's question is answered. And remember guys, no matter what question you have, no question is, as I tell my students, is, is irrelevant, okay? If you have a question or you're inquiring about something, then it's important to me so that I can help you be able to understand um, the internships because they can get a little confusing. So without further ado, let's get started. So, so the first one I'm gonna cover is the BMGT 2370 and BMGT 2371. You'll see these labeled as Management Applications 1 and Management Applications 2. Now, I am the sole uh, teacher or professor over this internship, and this is for all of our Associate of Applied Science degrees and certificates, okay? Um, so with your certificate, you're gonna be required to take just the first internship. With the degree, you're gonna be uh, required to take both. What this uh, internship does is it's gonna focus on management, it's gonna focus on social change, and it's gonna focus on job skills. So it's gonna give you that plethora of what employers need, but also it's gonna give you those skill sets if you wanna start a business. You know, it's better to always, you know, create a job instead of having to find a job, right? And these are for students mainly that are unemployed, okay? So the reason why we focus on unemployed for this internship is you're required to take, or required to actually do 96 hours outside of the classroom in order to obtain an A, and 64 hours of project time outside the classroom to obtain a seat. And that's in addition to the academia work, which I'm gonna cover. You have to have departmental approval, not just for this internship, but for actually all three of them. Um, how do you obtain department approval? Well, what we do is we ask you to be at least halfway through your degree. And the reason for that is we want you to gain some knowledge in the field. We want you to be able to understand terminology because at this point we want you now to start applying it, okay? And I'm gonna show you when we get to the website who you'll need to contact in order to gain that departmental approval. One of the neat things about this internship is that you're gonna be automatically enrolled to become a member of Net Impact. Now I'm gonna share Net Impact in a minute, which is gonna be a little bit more in detail, but all other students at CTC that are not in this internship, 
they actually have to apply to be part of this organization. And all of your projects that you're going to do are going to be funneled through net impact. Now, normally under normal circumstances, we would do projects on campus or in the community. But because of COVID, we want to make sure our students are safe. We've now transitioned to a online format. So you actually will be volunteering on projects that are set up online. Some of the projects that we work with is a organization that uh, for the Civil War has documents they like to have uh, archived. And so our students will do that. Also, there's a crisis hotline that you'll be trained on how to help people in dire needs. And those are ways that you can gain your uh, project hours, as well as net impact. Right now, we are getting ready to gear up for our fourth year of doing Up to Us, which is a uh, debt, I'm going to focus on our national debt and how we can help uh, educate our community as well as our legislation on better ways of spending our governmental money. Um, one of the things about this internship is that you're going to meet twice a week virtually. So this is going to be an online live lecture classroom. You do have to log in as if you were walking into the classroom. Attendance will be taken. One of the neat things about this is it's not really lecture based. We're going to cover key points of management. We're going to look at projects. We're going to talk about some of the strengths, some of the difficulties that you're facing, and pretty much be more of a group meeting than it would be of a pure me lecturing that that Charlie Brown wah 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 professor. You definitely won't get that in this course. Um, so the three things that you will do, because it's not academia focused, this is more on application. So you will have to create a project plan. And a project plan pretty much is like, you know, what do you plan to do? You're going to learn everything you need to know about the projects and what are you planning to carry out throughout the semester? You're going to have a timesheet, which you will take uh, or track all the time as far as the hours you're putting forth into the projects, and those will be turned in uh, as well. And those are actually turned in monthly. And then you will have your final report. And this is going to take your project plan. You're going to look at your before. And now you can look at what you actually did. And you're going to look at outcomes and also some outputs. And you're going to write about them. That's pretty much the entail of this internship. So the next internship I want to cover is my slide will move forward. Thank you. OK, so the next one is going to be BMGT 2488 and BMGT 2489. Very similar to the other internship, you are required to take the first one for the certificate and both for the degree. Now, this is different than the other internship because this is geared towards students who already employed. So you have a job, you have a supervisor. Again, you do have to get departmental approval with this internship as well. Now, what you have to do is if it's a 16 week course, you're going to have to obtain 20 hours of work hours with the company that you are working with. Okay, that's your approved training station. If it's the 12 uh, week course, then you're going to be required to have at least 26 hours a week in your approved uh, training session, i.e. your job. What you're going to do is you're going to set up training objectives. You're going to do this with your immediate supervisor and also your instructor. Once you create these objectives, you will need approval from all of those in order to move forward. And you're going to execute those training objectives throughout the semester. Um, you have to then attend 16 hours of classroom seminar. Uh, this is where the instructor will uh, teach you. I don't teach this particular internship, but the instructor that does will go ahead and have different seminars, may have guest speakers in. Again, focusing on the key aspects of managerial as far as business administration and also your training objectives. Um, you're gonna complete journal article reviews. You're also gonna submit a project report at the end of the semester. And then in this course, you do have a final exam that, uh, that consists of an essay. The next internship that we do have is our RELI, our uh, Real Estate 2488 and Real Estate 2489. Now, this is for our students who are taking their certificate and degree that are as a focus on real estate. Um, so again, same with the other two internships, you're going to need to uh, take the first internship for your certificate and both for the degrees. Uh, similar as well, you'll need departmental approval. Um, so the first one is going to focus on a buyer's agent, and the second internship is going to focus on a seller's agent. Um, there are three prerequisites. You're going to have to take the uh, real estate principles course, 
prior to taking uh, the internship as well as law of contracts and law of agency. And then for 2489, the only prerequisite is taking 2488. Now, one of the things I want to cover too is a lot of students think, well, what I'll do is I'll take both internships in the same semester. And this is for all of the different types of internships. You can't take them coinciding, okay? You have to take one one semester and then the second one the next semester. So as you're planning out your schedule, ensure that you are doing it at least the last two semesters or prior to graduation, because I've had so many students get to the end of their degree they think they can go ahead and take them both at the same time, but they're unable to, and they end up having to come back to school for an additional semester. And we don't want that for you. We definitely want you guys to graduate and move on for sure. Uh, not that we don't want you at CTC, it's just we want you to be successful. That's the key. Uh, so then also, you will attend one lecture a week. Um, you are responsible, though, with this internship, you're responsible for finding your own real estate uh, agent. Uh, or the in the field to be able to do your internship with. Um, you're going to have to record 19.5 hours uh, at this location that you have chosen. And this can include you doing any type of administrative work. And that could be copies, filing, you can help with the marketing efforts, um, you can do virtual marketing, whatever that particular uh, real estate agent or uh, broker it wants you to do as far as admin and marketing, you are welcome to do that. Um, this also internship includes a final project at the end, um, and it will consist of your training, your seminar notes, and then uh, research on three approved topics that you will work with your instructor on. Okay, so that covers the three different types of internships that we have. So I want to go back to focusing on net impact, um, which was the membership that you automatically get when you become when you enroll in BMGT 2370 and 71. Again, if you're not in the business degree or if you're just on the business administration degree uh, that doesn't require you an internship, you still can be part of Net Impact. You would just have to fill out an application to be part of it. So what is Net Impact? I'm pretty sure you're thinking. So it's a student-led organization um, here at CTC, but we're not just here at CTC. It was founded in 1993, and it's a global community, not just of students, but of professionals. Um, and we, what we do is we create projects based on passions of students. And we do that to be able to, you know, change the world, affect social impact. Our mission is to inspire and equip emerging leaders such as yourself as a student to build a more just and sustainable world. And this is what we want. We want that positive impact, especially in a world today, we need more positivity. I, don't you agree? At least I know, I, I believe in that. We're over 100,000 strong, which means guess what? We're not just here at CTC. And as a matter of fact, in this organization, there are only five community colleges. Most of them are four-year schools and also grad schools. So our community, like I said earlier, consists of just two and four, not just, but two and four-year schools as well as graduate schools, um, includes also professionals in the field. Our programs are preparing people to build skills and to make different, you know, take different paths in their careers. If you notice, most companies are becoming more conscious of their product and their services, meaning that consumers want to know, hey, where, what are you doing with our money? When we buy a product from you, are you just pocketing it or are you making a difference in our communities? Are you trying to change the world and make a better place for not just my generation, but generations to follow? And we believe that business is the critical part of this. Um, you've got to be able to generate profit, right? In order to do generate profit, again, I go back to what are you doing with this profit? And that's what we want to do is see big and small companies uh, have a bigger impact on our community. Here's just an example of the 380 plus undergraduate, graduate, and professional chapters worldwide. We're in 40 plus countries around the world. So as a Net Impact member, you're not by yourself. You get an opportunity to network with other students around the world. Here are some examples of the corporation organization partners um, that sponsor Net Impact. What's really neat about this, guys, is that once you become a member of Net Impact, you actually have access to jobs with these companies. Now, this is not available to all CTC students. You've got to be a member in order to have access to these internships and these jobs. So one of the things students are, what I tell my students is, and anything that you commit to, whether 
it's school, whether it's a job, whether it's an impact, is always ask yourself, what's in it for you? Because one of the things about life is time is something we cannot recap, right? Once it's spent, it's spent. So we wanna make sure the time that we have, we spend it worthwhile. So what's in it for you, a net impact is scholarships. Not only does net impact headquarters have scholarships available to you through these different companies, but here at CTC, our students have scholarships that are funded just for you all based on or from actually previous students. So each year, stu our students create fundraisers and these fundraisers not only fund the operations of our chapter, but then we deposit our profits into our scholarship, which then produces scholarships for students year after year after year. Um, internships, like I said earlier, these are can be paid internships through net impact. Locally, we have such a, a great a reputation in our community that we have many companies that contact us saying, hey, I need a student to work in our office to do this. I need, uh, I'll give you an example. Actually, Copper's Cove EDC reached out to us years ago and asked if our students could do a survey of small businesses and actually paid them per hour to do that. And they were able to gain experience by learning about the difficulties that small businesses were facing, as well as be able to network. So these are some of the opportunities that, again, come through just for net impact students. Um, it is a resume enhancer. So you can actually put this on your resume, just like you would a job. That's one of the neat things about if you are unemployed, that this fills that gap while you're in school. Public speaking. Um, so normally under what we call normal circumstances, you would speak in front of either you know, students on campus, you may have to go in front of the Rotary, you may have to uh, you know, meet at a town hall for here locally, and you'd have to learn how to public speak because I will put you on the spot. Um, now, one of the things we are doing because of COVID is we will be holding some uh, seminars, we're hoping, uh, holding uh, symposiums, and you will actually lead these symposium, these seminars. So again, you're going to gain that public speaking. And right now, the way that our business world is moving, we are going to be online more. So this is a great way for you to get that experience. And like I tell my students in the classroom, make those mistakes here. You know, this isn't tied to a paycheck. You know, make the mistakes, get to learn, because I believe failure is nothing but an education to success. You know how to fail to learn, right? Okay, I'm not gonna say a lot on that because you know I'll get into a lecture mode and you'll be like, I didn't pay for this. All right, so let's move forward, project management. Now, no matter what job you go into, project management is key. I know nurses that have to do project management. Um, so you're gonna get that experience by picking up one of our projects and leading it, guiding others on how to accomplish it. You're going to start it, you're going to, you can actually in net impact, you can create it. You don't have to pick up one that's already established. And then you will go ahead and carry it through all the way to fruition. And what's really neat about being able to do this is I'll give you an example of a student that we previously had. She created a project a couple of years ago, working with a local shelter for battered women. And she created this project to help women who had to, in a hurry, leave home and now have to start their lives over. So she taught them, or we taught them as a group, and she created a resume building class, a interviewing class, even a class on how to dress. And we would take them to Goodwill, we would show them how to purchase a suit, we would walk them through hand by hand the process to obtain jobs. This young lady as the project manager is able to claim that she helped out of 24 women that we worked with, out of those 24 women, 16 of them were able to receive jobs and move out of the shelter into a place of their own. Now think about that when you get ready to go get a job. Everybody that's gonna apply for that job is gonna have the same degree, if not same equivalent of a degree. Okay, so again, uh, box is checked, okay? What's gonna make you stand out? And that's gonna be what net impact's gonna do for you. We're gonna give you that experience that you need to stand out amongst other applicants. Networking, you know, you ever heard the saying, it's not what you know, it's whom you know? It is key in the business world. You've got to kind of rub elbows with the right people. And net impact is a great starter for that. Not just locally, but even on a national and international level. So one of the things that impact does is normally, again, under regular circumstances, we go to conference every year. Our last conference, um, we went to Detroit, Michigan. The year before that was Atlanta. One of the things we get to do is we get to rub elbows and meet CEOs and executive officers of Fortune 500 companies, as well as nonprofits. And I will tell you that 
I don't know if you know who Doug McMillan is, but he is the CEO of Walmart. He not only knows Central Texas College Net Impact, um, but he knows myself by first name. And the only reason why is not because I'm so great in and of myself. However, it's because of the fact that um, Net Impact has put myself and the students on the map. So one of the other things about Net Impact is also graduation honors. And this is where you can get a stole. We have medallions that you graduate. It's what I call graduation bling. Um, you also can obtain accolades. These are our presidential awards, as well as being a member of Net Impact allows you to have access to what's called interview, and they give you what's called a social resume. So you have a regular resume, but you have a social resume. And this lets employers, potential employers, know that you have community service um, volunteer experience. Extra credit, some of the professors in our department do offer extra credit for our Net Impact students because they know that it takes time outside of their classroom requirements to do these projects. And then one of the things I love is a lifelong friendships. You know, the students, when they're on a team, they work in together, they're going through the process of building a team and the phases, and they actually become members. As right now, currently, they, from last year's team, they have a hangout, and they are still talking to each other. They're still getting together. So it's really neat to be able to see the benefit. So moving on, uh, just a few things I want to cover. These are net impact projects under normal circumstances. We're on the right side. You'll see currently we are getting ready to uh, start our up to us. We'll be virtually uh, volunteering. We'll be working on seminars, uh, workshops, racial equity, you know, right in the time that we are now. This is a key uh, project that we have been working on for years, but I believe this is going to be something really great online. And then equity as well. So these are just a few topics that we have. So how do you become a member if you are not into the, in the internship? Well, we will have a fall 2020 informational. It will be virtual. It will be on Friday, September 11th from 1030 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. This will uh, be, again, like I said, Zoom, uh, and I will send out information to you uh, through the Facebook page, and also you can contact me, which I need to uh, see if I can go back. There we go. You can contact me on the email, uh, which is chastity.clemens at ctcb.edu. Let me know you're interested in becoming a member. I will shoot you an application and then we will see you at the informational. All right. So now I want to kind of go through the uh, tour of our department website. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you the, our Net Impact Facebook page, and then I'm also going to direct you to the netimpact.org page so you can see our headquarters. That's in Oakland, California. Um, and then I'm going to kind of help you navigate through our administration website, um, talk a little bit about our business degrees, and then I'm going to um, show you that actually through our website, you can link into Net Impact, and then how to find the syllabi to know which internship your certificate or degree will require. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to go first to the Facebook page. That is going to be right here. So you will type in up if you see at the top subject bar, Net Impact Central Texas College. This is going to be the cover photo so that you know you have the right page. Please, you know, peruse through the, the Facebook page, see all the different projects that we have worked on this past year. And you will also see, as you see, there's karaoke night. We have fun. It, you know, it's not all work. And I believe in, you know, you play hard, you work hard, right? So with that being said, I also want to take you over to the netimpact.org. Uh, this is a great website to see as a whole. Because one of the things I didn't mention about Net Impact is, as a CTC student, you would be a member of the undergrad. Now, again, if you move on to a four-year school, UT has a, a net impact team. Um, you can go over there or any other schools. But let's say that you either A, only are getting an associate's degree, or you're going to a four-year school that does not have a net impact team. Now, of course, you could start one there. But if not, Austin has a professional chapter. So you don't end net impact just because you graduate. You move into the professional side. How awesome is this when you're working for a company that you can say, hey, I belong to this organization while I was in college. Now I belong to the professional side and I, rep I can represent your company in still community projects and volunteering in my community. 
Again, another thing to set you aside. So again, you're welcome to go through. We uh, have a uh, focus on reimaging capitalism this year. Uh, again, you don't have access to all of the jobs and things like that, but you could be able to peruse through this website and see a little bit more about net impact, okay? So with that being said, I wanna move now to our business department. I'm gonna walk you through, how do you get to our website? Well, you're gonna go to ctcd.edu. Now this is our main homepage where you will be able to access anything that CTC has or anything that you need. So the first thing you're going to do is go to students, okay? Just hover over it, don't click on it. And then right underneath there, you see current. Go ahead and go down to, okay, come on. <laughs> there we go. Click on instructional departments. And you're gonna see a list of all the departments here on the left-hand side. Okay, you're gonna go over here to business administration and you're going to go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna bring you directly to our business administration department website. As you see here, we have the list of different programs that we offer, um, but we're only gonna focus on the business and uh, real estate and accounting. So if you click on that one, it's gonna take you to the different associate degrees and also certificates, okay? Now here you can actually see, and I'm gonna actually go down to the business management. You can look at the full degree as you click on here. So remember we talked about these internships, right? If you look over here where I'm circling, you will see that it is required for you to take around your second semester BMGT 2370. That's about your halfway point, right? Um, so BMGT 2370 or BMGT 2488, or if you're on the real estate, you will take Rally 2488. Again, those are the three internships that you're going to be required to take, depending on whether you're employed, not employed, or you're on real estate. And if you go down to the second semester of your second year, again, you're going to be uh, required to take that second half. Now, if you see that BUSG 1371 and think, well, wait a minute, you didn't cover that. Well, the reason I didn't cover that is because it's technically not an internship. It is an entrepreneurship course. So if you're looking to start your own business, this course will actually help you to write a business plan. Okay. And it is optional to replace one of the internships. I wanted to definitely let you know about that. All right. So with that being said, I want to show you also for the internships. Remember, we talked about developmental uh, approvals making sure you have the uh, office information so that you can contact the right individuals. Uh, let's see. So down here, you will see our wonderful, wonderful staff. We are blessed to have an amazing administrators in our department. Um, I don't say that because I work in the department. I will say these women have, will go above and beyond to assist you in anything you need as a student. So Ms. Colleen Willis is our department manager or our office assistant. She, you can email her. Only thing you'll need to email is your name. You'll be able to, uh, you need to tell her which internship you need departmental approval to, and then your student ID. That way she can pull up your uh, transcript and make sure you're ready to be moved into that particular internship and you're choosing the right internship, as well as Ms. Victoriana. Uh, Ms. Victoriana Cox can also help you as well. So both of these ladies can assist you in any way you need to get that departmental approval for all three internships, okay? All right. And so one of the things I wanna do is go back to is that instructional department section. If you scroll down, I don't know how many of you know this, but if you scroll down the right-hand side, you can find your syllabi. A lot of times I get emails from students saying, hey, I'm taking your class. What book is required or what is required? What kind of work will I be doing? So if you really want to know more in detail about the internships that I just covered, go over here to the syllabi search. It's going to bring you up here. So of course, I'm going to search mine, uh, BMGT, no space, 2370. Okay. And so now it's going to bring you up here. You're going to click the PDF, and it's going to bring you the actual syllabi. <laughs> Excuse me. And here you can scroll down and you can see all the objectives and materials that are required, how many points, what are the, you know, classwork, as far as how many, you know, what the grade uh, percentages or how can you pass the course, anything you need to know about each of the courses you can find as far as the internships in this section. All right. 
So I have covered uh, kind of a good portion of our department, but I want to definitely go back one more time and show you how you can access uh, net impact. So I'm going to go back to, again, students, instructional departments, back to administration, business administration. And if you see on here where it says clubs, now I don't like that name. Anybody who knows me knows we are not a club. We don't just hang out and not that I say that all the clubs do, but we are an organization because of the fact that we do community service and not only just community service, but we make changes and we are organized. <laughs> That's why I like that word. All right, so you click on clubs. Again, opens up my information. So if you're like, oh, I forgot for email, um, again, you're welcome to call my office. We are not in office, we're working virtually, but I do check my voicemails and would love to give you a call back and talk more in detail about net impact if this is something you're really interested in. Again, just a little bit of information. It has a link to our Facebook page. Again, if you forget how to get to our Facebook page. And we do have some fun YouTube videos if you wanna check us out on YouTube as well. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and come back and let's talk a little bit about uh, the types of formats that we share our courses in. So again, during normal circumstances, we would have lecture to lecture. We've moved to a synchronized version of learning, and this is where you're going to log into your Blackboard and you're going to virtually be in class. Um, this is where you can wear that, you know, a nice top and you could be in your leggings, right? And you're going to have class virtually. Now we will take attendance. Uh, we will periodically ask you questions to make sure you're still engaged, uh, but it's great for you to be able to get, you know, just connection with your instructor. I know I have a lot of students who do not like online courses. They love that one-on-one -on -one with their professor, that relationship with their professor. We can still have that by doing the synchronized learning, okay? We also have all of our online courses that are self-paced, and then we, of course, have the blended and lecture. One of the things you want to do is go back into the CTC Live for a pre-recorded uh, session. It's called Class Delivery. I'm not going to go in detail, but you can find out more of the types of delivery that our department offers. Okay? With that being said, I have concluded my portion of the internships. I've asked, I've covered how to navigate through our business website. And uh, one of the great things is net impact. Um, I will tell you, I am alumni from CTC. And so I just don't love working here at CTC. As a student, I loved it because one of the things about CTC is you can build upon your degree. Um, I'm now currently in the process of chapter three of my dissertation. So obviously getting my business management degree from CTC um, was my foundation. And so I encourage you, if you're not going to take a business uh, or get on a business degree, at least take a business course because you're either going to work for a company, whether it's profit or for uh, nonprofit, or you're going to own your own business. And so it's good to have that fundamental information and knowledge of how business is ran. With that being said, I want to thank you for taking the time out to view this uh, video. And I look forward to seeing many of you in my classroom, but not only that, but joining Net Impact. Okay, at this time, I'm going to see if there's any questions in the chat. I don't see any at the time. Um, and that's fine. If you have any questions after viewing this, say you weren't able to attend the live session and you do have some questions, go back to um, see, you know, the email, send me an email, shoot me an email, and I would love to answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a wonderful day and I wish you the best at Central Texas College.